Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to Arsenic Candy Gaming. And welcome back to Power Cord. Yes, we're back. I'm very much keen to uh, get through Power Cord now because I'd like to play something that doesn't involve cards. So, or pegs. So let's get Power Cord done <laughs> and we'll move on to something else. What have we got here? The Demon King, Valak the Crowned. It's a race to the peak of Tower Sonoruk. And the Demon King has gotten here first. Necromancers, Rage Demons, and Demonic Totems block your path to the four-armed Speed Demon, Valak the Crowned. The midverse is depending on you grabbing the Chronocaster first. Well, we'll give it a go. Um, we have an event here. Strange Danger, free merch, or maybe a brawl. Be ready for anything. Let's go. Let's just go and do the quest. Maybe if we play again, we can uh, let him down. So what have we got? We've got a shop here, which we could check out. We've got three battles, a couple of mysteries, and a Healy Bob. Or we could go a couple of brawls, shop, elite, and then the Dead King. But then that would put us on, on path for another um, elite before a heal. I mean, that's quite a lot to contend with, but I don't know that we've got a lot of choice if we want to do the uh, mysterious event. Choice made, I guess. I'm um, mildly optimistic that things are going to go well. Ah, we have some new challengers. The Havoc. Chemically inclined bassists that will eat your armor and wither your band away with toxins. The Mountain. Rock solid drummers that use their stone charges to, ch to guard demons will start an earthquake of instability. And the Pillar of Healing restores 5 health to the Demon Band for every 4th card played each turn. Well, that fucking sucks. Let's get rid of... Who's being attacked at the moment? Oh my goodness. He is going to take a lot of damage if we don't do something about it. Want to keep the energy? Oh my, how do we deflect this? Uh, let's get rid of that, get rid of that. Keep the poison charges, keep the draw blood. Go with that, see what we can get. Energy up. We need to get rid of somebody's something, but I don't think we're going to be able to do it. So I'm afraid he's going to take 21 damage, which is insanity. I mean, we can get rid of you attacking and adding instability. Restore five health to ally band each time the enemy plays four cards in a single turn. What are you applying? Some... Ah, okay. You're eating away poison. On, uh, sorry, eating away uh, armor. You're not going to have any armor, so it won't fucking matter. Let's go with that. And do seven damage to you. Blood. And then let's do some poison damage. Let's start drilling this guy down. I'm very, very sorry, Shinobi. Ouchies. Okay, what have we got? Let's add some armor to... Um, Shinobi. 14 damage to a single enemy, plus one for each stone charge. I mean, we may as well do that in a moment then. One damage, three weakness charges. You're doing the most, so let's do that. Let's take away your armor. Now we can let him take seven damage and just kill this dude off which seems like the best thing that we could possibly have done. And we build up some rage charges. And we're good to go. Uh, we could just take this guy out entirely now. Let's draw a card for you. Let's see what you got. Put you in a stance protect you let's do let's do the random damage 
that's what I wanted. Now let's take your armor away, and then we can kill... Ah, uh, we can't... Can we kill you off? I feel like that will. It did. Get rid of your armor. Going into that felt like it was going to be uh, certain doom, but alas, it wasn't to be. Three armor and distribute all stone charges as armor. I don't need that. Let's draw a card for you. And that's it. And the totem is left standing, untouched. And I don't think it actually got to, to use its turn even once. The Lodestone. That's a stance. Epic support. Grant three power charges to ally band. And enemy band gains three weaknesses. Why not? He doesn't have a lot of cards going on. So we might as well use him. Uh, all spells cause an extra hit for one damage to the same target. Also deals one damage to this character. This character deals plus three damage on all attacks and takes one damage each. At what? what is happening? Summon three random toxin cards. I like the sound of that. Convert ten stone charges into one barrier charge. That's that's a lot. That's a lot to waste. Maybe we should take it though. We got any cards we want to get rid of? I don't think so. These are quite useless. They all have three instability charge to the attacker on the first health damage taken on a turn. Hmm. Okay. Who could possibly have it though? Only you. May as well pop it on you then. Let's leave. Battle the band of demons to get new cards. I mean, that was our first standard battle and uh, there was grave concern as soon as we stepped into it. So I'm quite concerned about how an elite fight is going to go this floor. The Pillar of Suffering. Three instability charges to your band every fourth card played each turn. Does that include any cards that we play? I have no idea. Uh, we want the energy. We want the dice roll. We're not going to be killing anybody. We will take a stance. We won't take a stance because he's getting hit. Let's give it a whirl. Let's get some energy out of it. Free armor to self and then we'll uh we'll use our dice roll let's build up some stone charges ready for for our next go around ouchies everyone's toxified right okay I mean, there's somebody we can finish off straight away. Add 16 damage. Deal 16 damage and add four instability charges to a single enemy. And then exhaust. And who's the biggest threat here? He looks like a big threat, but... And he's going to cast thorns on everybody. Let's do that. Let's, let's get him close to being finished. And then... I didn't actually mean to do that. It just fired out of my hand. 21 damage. I mean, we could just take him out altogether. Let's do that. He's going to deal a bit of poison damage, I think. But I'm not going to cry about it. Thanks very much. Well, 
The floor's not proving too difficult thus far, though I feel that that might be um, a mistake to have said. Take the gold there. Don't want any of that. The Elite Brawl. Again, still remembering that we've got no... We've got no way to heal anywhere. Well, that is not going to be good. Is it? An explosive barrel. Does that damage everybody then? Um, we're not going to be able to finish anybody. Mind you saying that, we can deal steel, 10 damage and 4 instability. Could well take that explosive out. Let's keep everything and see what it does. I mean, it didn't stop everybody in their tracks, but I mean, we stopped we stopped this guy attacking. So I'll take that. I mean, this is a lot of armor. Who are you? The mountain. Okay. I didn't get eyes on properly the previous, uh, previous go around. You feel like doing that much damage? That seems like a lot, my friend. I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to stop that very quickly. <laughs> All right, let's summon some toxin cards. Right, we need to we need to be able to finish this guy off pretty much. Corrosion only deals armor damage. I mean, we can risk this. Let's risk it. Of course, it didn't hit the one guy we needed it to hit. Six damage. That, that went out of my hand without me letting go of the button. So this damage we're about to receive is because my mouse screwed me over. I'm real disappointed here in what's about to happen. Oh, crud. I tried, boys. I tried. Wow. Twenty six damage to someone. You. Seventeen damage to you. It's <clears throat> just poison you. Get rid of you. Molten plate. Weaken him, draw a card for you, and then we'll probably be able to finish him off. He's dead. We are not doing great for health. And I think we've got potentially two elites to battle. Randomize energy prices for this character each turn. What would we swap out? We had... Um, something junky that we didn't want I think start a battle with thorns uh, maybe we'll um... oh. yeah I don't care for it I don't care for it I'm sure it's great I don't care for it The Mace Flurry. I, I'm i quite concerned about what's going to happen here, so I'm going to have to just risk it. Standing upon a pile of bodies, a decrepit man pontificates to a crowd of witnesses that 
only the worthy can stay dead and only he can give the gift of final death freeing you from the never-ending day you find yourself in the presence of the dead king himself uh we get to keep it or we exchange the dead king's crown for the deathly ring i'll take that yep we'll pop that on there it is what it is at this point um oh, I, I doubt anything's gonna give us any health so what have you got in your deck in sorry in your hand instability charges to the attacker on the first health damage taken on a turn he doesn't seem to have lost any health so far And what cards has he got? What support cards has he got? Support, support. Hmm. Okay. So the only thing that that would actually affect is tip the scales, costing two energy instead of three. And it would cost us the money to buy the card and then eradicating one of our pieces of gear which doesn't really seem worth it to me so maybe we'll let it go stance prevent debuffs affecting ally ban for the next three turns yeah we'll take that um doo -doo 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 -doo. gain one band energy every five turns sounds great i don't know that we've got anywhere worth putting it no let's just move on let's move on i'm a bit scared this would be a nice heal if you give me a heal i'd really appreciate it we can skip the next battle i mean that just makes sense. What you need to do is attach an electrode to your forehead and another to your mumbles incoherently. And then you'll go from now to somewhere else. It's easy. You're pretty sure that if it was easy, you wouldn't be the one with the electrodes on your mumbles incoherently. Skip battle node. I'll take that. I'll take that. I, it was a cowardly way to go, but... We need to heal Shinobi back up to full health, so. I've got no shame in that. <laughs> uh, maybe he protests too much. Right. So we can take an elite battle now that we've got some health, or we can skip the elite battle altogether and go for a couple of mysteries. But there is a heal up here. Fuck it, let's go for the heal. Take your rewards. The Prophet's Monocle. The draw pile would display all cards in the order they will be drawn. I don't think we need it. Ah, okay. Gain plus one energy charge whenever four whenever four cards are exhausted by the player. I mean, we don't really exhaust a lot of cards. I probably could have replaced plenty of stuff with that already. Let's get rid of it anyway. It's too late to worry about now. Oh, good. We've got some neon purple dudes. I, I, I imagine that we're going to face all of these pillars in the final battle then right the necromancer uh, occultish singers who will raise demon from the dead if you leave the creeps on stage excellent that's just what we want the pillar of curses adds three random curse cards to your deck for every fourth card played each turn get rid of that okay we're gonna take that pop that stance on summon some uh, corrosion cards 
We're going to inflict five corrosion on the enemy team. We're going to do curse first. And then we'll put the toxic miasma on them to get rid of uh, some of their armor. I mean, there's damage coming our way. Alas, I do not care. Gain some energy. Uh, 10 damage and add 4 instability charges to a single enemy. Wow. Everyone's got an awful lot of health. Every time the enemy plays 4 cards in a single turn. So it is when they do it, not us. We don't have a lot of stone charges. Play that. Let's go coup de gras. 10 damage. Let's just re re refuse to accept some damage from somebody. Have we got 10? We do. Someone can receive barrier. Who's going to end up with the least energy? Let's just impervious ourselves. We have no stone charges. Sorry, Shinobi. Gain one rage charge for each health damage dealt by this character. Let's deal some health damage. Let's tip the scales. Do some poison damage to you. And then add some damage and instability charges to you. Start getting rid of this totem, maybe. For the first time we've considered it, because I wasn't looking at who I cast it on. All incoming damage blocked is quite lovely to see. Feedback. Deal two damage to a single ally. What is happening? We've all been cursed. 17 rage damage to a single enemy. Oh, gosh. These are unplayable. We're going to be um, receiving damage. Who can take two damage? You. You. Ouch, cursed. Well, I very much hope that the, <laughs> that the end boss doesn't have a whole bunch of totems. I forgot that they resurrect. My God, I forgot that they resurrect. 20 damage. We need to take somebody out. So we need both of these guys dead so that they can't resurrect. So we have to take them out at the same time, essentially. That sucks. Let's take his armor away. Um... Take yours down. Let's put some uh, defender stance on. Why is nobody... Why are you not receiving any damage? Because he's not doing enough damage. Okay, cool. We've got 37 rage. We better hope that we get um, a pretty decent rage card to come up any, any second. 46 rage. We can finish this dude off, hopefully. That's my plan, anyway. don't need to do that. Two damage to all enemies. Poison to you. Not going to finish him off though, is it? I wish we could do it. I wish we could do anything with it. 
Um, it's weakened him, but that's all it's done. So I guess that they have to wait until their next turn before they can resurrect, yeah? So one of them is going to resurrect. 70 rage to a single enemy. I think that should do it. And you're not doing any damage. Wow. Let's draw another card for you. So we want to do 40 damage. I mean, it's massive overkill, but there you go. That one, that fight had me a little concerned. Granted, I don't think we lost too much health in the long run, but it definitely had me worried. So start ban battles with plus three power charges and plus two instability. I don't know that it's something that we want to put on anybody. No, we're going to skip it. We're just going to skip it. It's not a great one. Ethereal Claws. Attack seal minus one damage and add instability. It's not great, is it? Let's be honest. Plus three armor each turn. Can anyone make use of that? Uh, yeah, we'll 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 take it, take it there. Yeah. So plus three armor each turn is better than plus one armor every time he attacks. I guess. The Aggravator. Rhythm guitarist that will follow the lead of other demons and destroy anyone carrying debuffs. Add four, three power charges to the demon band every fourth card played. Shit the bed. Um, I'm going to stick with that. We'll take the Refreshing Wind. We'll summon some Toxin cards. Poison charges on the enemy band. And you will hit you. I think we're going to get cursed here. We're going to take some damage. I was not paying attention to what Shinobi had going on. So get in your stance. Who's doing? Wow, they're, they're all gunning for my buddy here. So, wow, you've got, yeah, perfect. So let's put, who we hitting? Who we hitting? You. Let's do a dice roll. Stick impervious on him. Apply some poison charges over here and then just stick him in bloodlust stance anyway. I don't know if him getting hit is going to knock him out of it because he's not armored. It did, which is a shame. I didn't think it would do that. So... Oh my goodness. Well, you need to stop that incoming, mate. So, let's let's take him out. Uh and let's weaken you. Three damage and three instability charges. Plus one for every... Yeah, let's just do it. 
three armor and distribute all stone charges with one armor. Plus one armor. Not to be sniffed at, let's be honest. And he's dead now anyway, right? Let's guard you. And play through. Let's see what happens. I mean, this isn't going to... Yeah, he's dead. Ooh. Now that, that definitely was worrying. But a victory, nonetheless. Add four weakness charges. Deal one damage three times to a single enemy. I mean, that helps with stuff like our stone charges and his rage attacks, right? So we'll take that. Do we take a 30% or we just go for Shinobi again, I think? We'll heal Shinobi. Everybody else seems to be doing okay, but Shinobi's taking the worst of it. The Demon King, Valak the Crowned. Valak the Crowned, dual wielding a guitar and a bass, Valak can strike faster than any demon you've seen yet. Can you outlast the weakness, drain, and stuns to defeat the Demon King himself? I'm not optimistic about it, especially with 150 armor on top of 300 health. I'll be honest, that's outrageous. I don't know what they were thinking when they came up with that idea. Please build me up with your stone charges, sir. So, let's guard you. Does that mean that you're going to be doing too much damage for me to block through? No, we're good. We're good. Let's go for Toxin cards. Start um, taking down his armor. And I think we'll hold on to our um, charges. Oh, crap. Right. Oh, God. What are we supposed to do with that? Coup de gras. We can do five rage damage to him. It isn't really going to do anything for us. Um, we may as well put the armor on just to buffer him a little bit. I mean, it keeps him alive for, for a turn. We certainly aren't going to be doing 96 shield damage anytime soon. When they take 50 or more health damage in a single turn, they regain 100 armor and enter the rebuild stance. What? Oh, groovy. That really helped. Oh my. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're not getting, we're certainly not getting through this fight. Not in one piece, that's for sure. <laughs> 18. We can block through that. That's fine. Gain some energy. Let's deal some damage three times to a single enemy. Let's deal damage and weakness to him. 
Then 15 damage, gain some rage charges. We certainly got rid of his armor. And we're going to keep our stone charges again. There's not a lot of blocking happening here now. We can do 15 damage. What good, what good is that, really? Um, everybody's blocked, which is great. I'm going to keep using that to keep us blocked up. Damage. And then Avalanche. Or should we keep hold of it for now? I'm reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Oh, we just got to hope that we can uh, deal a, a significant amount of damage without taking away a hundred in one go. If he takes 50 more or more health damage in a single turn. I mean, come on. He needs to be weakened. I am not doing f 61 rage damage to him. Not yet, anyway. Is he exhausting my cards? Thirty-three damage to a single enemy, plus one for every stone charge. Uh, you're you're out of it. Let's be honest, you're gone. Let's poison him. Corrosion on him. I don't know what good that does us at the moment. It's still, it's still the shattering chisel. Oh, my friend, I'm so sorry to see you go. Or we can make him enter his rebuild stance. Let's do that. That way, I th hopefully that's does that stop him attacking? It certainly doesn't. Now we've got to take 85 armor off of him before we can do anything else. Is anyone getting hurt? No. Yes, a little bit. Um... But not too much. He loses a fair old amount of uh, armor, right? Does that actually do 18 damage? Wow. I don't agree with that sort of thing. Come on, let's let's do an outrageous amount of damage. Can this be it, please? I think we might have achieved. I think we might have achieved. We beat Valak the Crown. We beat Valak the Crown. A true victory. Runtime, one hour and 51 minutes. Okay. Well, that was how you beat the Veil at the Crown in uh, Power Chord. Finally, you've made it.
understand the portal at all. Come back with them, and together we can destroy this f***ing portal. Well, on that note, I've been asking Candy Gaming. You've been bloody marvellous, as always. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And all of that other wonderful stuff. Um, I don't know. We might come back for a, another run at Power Chord. I'll, I'll have a little play offline, see if we can unlock some new characters and stuff, and try and make it a slightly more interesting, or at least different run. But for now, please do, as always, take care. And goodbye.